So in post-transplant uh, relapse setting in myelofibrosis, uh, we have a very challenging situation because the patients actually do quite badly. And uh, at the moment, we have many more new treatments that have been approved for uh, myelofibrosis, like the dratinib and momelotinib more recently. Uh, however, in the post-transplant setting, there are still open questions. How, do we, how can we manage those patients? Donor lymphocyte infusions is a cellular therapy. Uh, it is a product that can uh, specifically target the malignant clone and actually we think that it should be utilized more. Uh, there have been two retrospective uh, real-world studies, uh, one that uh, our group has published and one that was published by Hamburg Group, and they have shown that actually patients can achieve long-lasting remissions by, uh, by utilizing uh, donor DLI on the, on the relapse setting. Uh, there are still many questions, for example, do we use it on molecular relapse or in when uh, camerism is falling or should we better use it for overt relapse? And one of the problems is that at the moment we don't have uh, validated criteria for uh, either relapse or uh, remission in the post-transplant setting. Uh, so this causes a lot of problems. but. I think is a treatment that uh, can offer a great option for clinicians and patients respectively and hopefully we'll have better studies, prospective studies that would be able to determine uh, how best to use DLI, what dose to use it, if we should be using escalated dose regimen and uh, I think when, once all of these questions are answered, DLI would be something in our, in our arsenal that uh, we think should be used a lot more uh, in order to, to, to tackle this challenge uh, of relapse at the post-transplant setting for myelofibrosis.